I thought I'd do a little uh, day in the life of type thing. It's uh, right around 6.30 in the morning. Uh, pretty close to getting to work. Uh, today they have me doing the uh, Arcadia to uh, Orlando run. Just doing two of them. Got up at about 5:45, and uh, didn't get home last night till about nine, I think. 9:30. Had to get up at 5:45 to go right back to work. And today is going to be a long day, so uh, figured I'd record one of these and show what I actually have to do uh, for the job. From there, just kind of put it all together later on and upload it to the channel. So, the other uh, fun thing is uh, being in Florida and whatnot, it's uh, foggy out. So, yay! Uh, anyhow, I'll uh, upload more later. Have fun. Okay, and this is pulling into the ranch off of the main highway. It's kind of a nondescript dirt road. And of course, like I was saying, it's really foggy today. That's probably the worst I've seen it. This is why I'm not riding the motorcycle. Uh, this would not be fun to ride in at all. divot they've carved here because Indians were going 50 miles an hour down this dirt road. Here's where the cows are. They're hiding back in the fog. <laughs> okay, well, now I am headed over to uh, the Southeast Milk. Uh, distribution center. I'm in the truck. Uh, this is uh, one of the older trucks. It's, uh, it's like a 2004 Velvo. And uh, anyhow, I'm headed over there to go check in, see if they got an empty. And I gotta get ice in my ice chest. The 
dirt road. Definitely a lot bumpier in the uh, in the truck than it is in the car. So yay! Um, and it is just about six. So, I got to the ranch, or the distribution center or whatever, they didn't have an empty. So now I gotta run all the way out to Mayaka, Bobtail, which is about 90 miles. So, eh, whatever. It's right around 7.20. I had to come over here to get ice anyway. So. Yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, do it again when I get over to Mayaka. Okay, and now I am arriving at the uh, farm in Miyaka, or just outside of the canyon. Let's see, I go down a lot of dirt roads. Yeah, it's just about a hundred miles away from the, uh, the bottling plant. Or not the bottling plant, the uh, distribution center. Where I would pick up the loaded tankers. And here, I also pick up loaded tankers, but these ones are going to a different place. The one over in Okeechobee, the ones from there generally go down to uh, the Miami area. And the ones from here, go up to Orlando. So, fun times, right? Okay, now that I'm here, I gotta call in to dispatch and see what they want me to pick up. So, um, yeah, sometimes I'll go ahead and get that done. So they don't let us film uh, inside where you get the paperwork and whatnot. Um, anyhow, this is what the ice chest is for. These are milk samples. I'll go ahead and put those in there. I got a cooler over there and then I got my paperwork. So I got to fill that out and then hook up to the tanker and uh, go uh, head up to Orlando. So awesome stuff, I know, right? <laughs> okay, <clears throat> I'm loaded up now. It's about 9 30 in the morning and uh, I'm on my way up to Orlando. And I'll probably get there sometime this afternoon, depends on how traffic is. I'll have to turn around and come right back, possibly. There is a possibility they may not have a second load for me today. You know, but, uh, whoops, just dropping stuff all over. Um, if they don't, then I go back to the ranch. If they do, I'll come back here and I'll do another run. And each run takes about six hours. Um, and it takes two hours to get here. Uh, so it's a really long day when I do two of these Orlando runs. So anyhow, I'll uh, 
updating you along the way, I guess. Alrighty. So it's 1.15. The traffic was pretty bad coming up on I-4. But I am at the Orlando drop yard now. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop my load and uh, take a little bit of a break. Um, and then I'll be on my way back down to uh, Mayaka um, or Arcadia. Same difference. And uh, see about picking up another load. There is a possibility I may be going home after this load. Depends. i got to call my boss after my break and see what he wants me to do. Anyhow, I'll check back in in a bit. Well, as it turns out, um, he wants me going back to the ranch. I guess there wasn't enough milk available uh, to do another run. Um, it's uh, now 1421, and uh, should get back to the ranch around 1640-ish um, for the, the military time impaired folk. That would be, it's 2.21, and uh, get there around 4.40 um, in the evening. So, you know, it could be worse. Um, anyhow, I'll, I'll go ahead and do another update when I get back to the ranch. It's going to be a pretty boring video, but, you know, what the hell. Okay, and it's 5 p.m. I just got back to the ranch, and uh, now I gotta just pump the fuel, fill the tanks, and then uh, empty out the truck and whatnot. So, yeah, it was fun coming back. I took the turnpike, um, and there was at least four accidents. Only three of them were on my side of the road. But, because everyone fucking rubbernecks, it uh, was backed up on my side of the road too. So, yay. Now, pretty sure y'all know how to pump fuel. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much a, a day of my job. And after this, I just head out and go home. Um... So I did about 11 hours today, so right around 200 bucks for the day. I'm not complaining. Anyhow, that's it for now. Drive safe, y'all. Bye.